Zoom is a popular platform that allows users to see, hear, and collaborate in real time no matter where they are. Users can use Zoom for meetings, presentations, training sessions, webinars, and other types of online interactions. Today, I will show you how to create an account on the Zoom app. Install the Zoom app via Google or App Store. Please make sure to install the app with the icon shown on my screen. I have already done that. After installation, open the Zoom app. To make use of all the features of the Zoom app, we need to create an account. Click on the Sign Up button. Enter your birth year in the field and confirm with Continue. Here it wasn't possible to record the screen because the Zoom app doesn't allow it. You can enter your email address or choose to create an account using Google or Apple parameters, and I chose Google. I will choose this method because it is the easiest. Then choose the Gmail account through which you will sign in. Of course, you can use other email addresses. You need to be signed into the selected Gmail account. If you are not, you will need to enter the password for that account. After that, you need to confirm your consent to the privacy policy and terms of use. If you see this window, click on Accept Cookies. Zoom welcomes you here. We continue by clicking on the Create Account button. This will take a few seconds. Then comes the part about receiving notifications related to messages and meetings. Choose Enable Notifications to always be timely informed. Confirm once again with Allow. If you want to make scheduling meetings easier, you can connect to a calendar. I will skip this for now and choose the Not Now button. Once again, choose Not Now. And you have officially created an account. Click on Get Started and you are ready to use the app. At the top, there are four icons. Using the first option, you can create a new meeting. The Join option allows you to join a video call using an ID. The Schedule function allows you to schedule a meeting, while with the Share Screen function, you can share your screen with other meeting participants. Explore other options available in the lower part of the app. Support us by liking this video and subscribing to the channel.